y'all thought I was recording when we went under the bridge, <laughs> and I wasn't. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll get it coming back the other way. <laughs> We, we may have to do it again just to get it on film. I guess so. Looks like we may not be able to go too far this way anyway. There's some more trees over here on the right. Look like something's clawed on them. Or... Yeah. Well, what? Beaver don't like cypress, huh? I didn't, I didn't know them to ever eat pine before I'd come up there and gone to that little pond by your house. Oh, yeah, they'd eat pine all over. I mean, like nothing. I mean, they could shoot it all to heck. Well, maybe they will eat cypress, but they will burn other trees first. Yeah, it must be like the rosin and stuff in your conifers they don't like. Usually other trees. Yeah. 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 Probably stop. Yeah. Well, as far as we can go this way. Yeah. I think the other direction was prettier. I thought it would have been this way. Well, there were more, you know, going that way, there was, that map indicated there were several open pools. And this way, it looks like after that bend up there that it kind of narrowed down, didn't have any wide open spots. Definitely a lot of fish or something jumping. I keep yeah, seeing some kind of fish. And splashes. Let's see over to one of these trees and look at it. Maybe it's like an alligator or something. Definitely looks like teeth. That looks like beaver. You see where the individual teeth have been shaven. I'm not sure I'd be real hip on eating fish out of this thing just because there's so much farmland around here that's gonna bound to run off in this thing. I figured probably a lot of pesticide contamination. Yeah, because what happens they you actually you get a magnification of it in the body of fish because a lot of those chemicals tend to accumulate and they accumulate in the little microscopic critters. And then, you know, minnows eat that, and they accumulated, you know, they're eating stuff that already has, you know, a concentrated amount. And then they concentrate it further, and then the bigger fish eat them. And by the time you get to a bass, you know, you've actually multiplied the concentration in the water many fold. They call it biomagnification. And uh, usually if you want to really check to see if you're going to have contamination in a water source, you check your top predator like a bass because, you know, even if there are various trace levels, it, because it will have been accumulated at several levels of the food chain before the bass gets to it, the bass will have the higher, you know, much higher concentration than, say, a brim that eats mostly insects and little larva kind of things. And you got to learn how to drive this thing. Okay, now we're approaching the Highway 82 bridge from the south, and this time I think I've got record actually on, so we're going to go under a big cypress log that's caught on the bridge, and it's just high enough above the water that we can ease under it, so we'll go under it and see if we can not bump it and knock it over on us. Well, we may actually hit it if it's too low. Let's go real fast and 
that way will either hit hard or will make it. Well, if you hit it, be sure you hit it so it takes you out before I get to it. It'll catapult me over it when your end goes underwater. I'll, I'll try to stop it with my head. There's that blue Jeep again that somebody left the door open on. I don't know what's up with that. Here we are on the bridge. This thing's just stuck from one side to the other, just resting. Oh. There we go, survive it once more. There's some big cypress back here.